The first thing you'll have to do to get your server ready to deal with AppBlocker is can reconfigure the application identity service. Uh, you're going to want to set that to start up automatically and of course actually start the service. The application identity service is the one that's responsible for reading the AppLocker rules, watching the applications that you launch, logging events, and most importantly, blocking applications that aren't allowed. Within a group policy object is where you'll actually configure AppLocker. So I've set this up in the computer configuration, drilled down to Windows settings, security settings, application control policies, and then AppLocker. Expanding this right now gives me some information, but since I've never configured it on this computer before, I'm going to need to actually kind of get it going. Now the trick with servers is it's unlikely that every single server you have is running the exact same application. So configuring AppLocker in group policy, which is kind of where Microsoft tends to push you, might not be the right way. Now Microsoft really only pushes that way because it's how most people are going to configure the group policy for client computers. Now for servers, it's just as legitimate to drill down to the local security policy so that you can kind of have a unique AppLocker configuration for every one of your servers. So the first thing you'll do is configure rule enforcement. Uh, this will allow us to configure rules on executables and Windows installer. Even if you're just configuring Windows installer rules on a server, that's fantastic because it's going to help prevent people from installing additional software. You can also configure script rules. On the advanced tabs, you can en enable DLL rule collection, but Microsoft doesn't really recommend it, and neither do I. There are so many DLLs in Windows that trying to get AppLocker to look at every single one of them and control it can really put a kind of a hit on performance. So you can say audit only or enforce rules. Now audit only is a good starting point. It means no applications will actually be blocked but AppLocker will still create event log entries as if it was blocking them. So you can see what it would do, but it's not actually going to do anything. So once you uh, kind of configure that and get it ready to go, you're pretty much ready to start configuring your executable rules. And that's where you'll come down in here and create a new rule, or, and this is the one that really makes AppLocker unique from software restriction policies, its predecessor, automatically generate rules. The first thing you're going to want to do, though, is create default rules. This will automatically create rules to allow anything that's in the program files folder, and that's one that you may or may not want to keep. Uh, it's designed to get you up and running quickly without, you know, breaking your server. But if something can get into the program files folder, then it's going to run. So it kind of might defeat the purpose of kind of locking down your server. All files in the Windows folder, and that certainly makes it easy to keep the operating system running. And then anything run by the built-in administrators group. Again, if the goal is to lock down the server against other administrators installing things without your knowledge, you're probably going to want to remove that rule. Automatically generating rules really just kind of scans a particular folder and then looks for executables that are in that folder and then creates rules to allow all of them. So you can do that as a quick way of kind of getting up and running. Anyway, once all this is configured and you set it for audit only, you can drill into the event viewer in here and under the logs, we'll drill down until we actually find the oops, app locker log. Now it hasn't created anything, so there's no log here yet, but you will eventually see an app locker log under here. Uh, and that's where it'll start logging everything. So there they come. Uh, that's where it'll start uh, telling you which applications it would have blocked. Once you're satisfied that it's not generating blocks for anything that you want to run, you can go back and can reconfigure that, uh, that AppLocker policy, this rule enforcement, to actually enforce rules instead of being in audit-only mode.